Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. So I'm uh, in the Minecraft Land Party Season 3 world, and I've got glow squid here. And I so often log in and there are no glow squid, so let's go kill some glow squid. Because I've been using their ink sacks uh, for signs. It works really well. I've got quite a bit here. That's okay. Come on out. Come back. Come back. There you go. Um, yeah, so, um, don't have anything planned in particular, digging out some more of the underground area, and I'll probably just continue doing that, and I have stuff that I need to do, I'm just... Not sure exactly how to get started doing it. Um, I've got space over here. Down here. Well, hello, Mr. Turtle. Are you okay? Are you my turtle from in here? I think so. Yeah, you, uh, you managed to escape or you wanted out of the water for some reason. Interesting. Um, okay, so I've got I've got some chests here with some stuff. Lava, dripstone, ice. And uh, so I wanted to, I think, what I'm going to do, I'm going to build into this section here some lava generator stuff and some dripstone generator. Like I'll do a layer, a little chunk here of this little section. Um... Put in some dripstone. Just put a bunch of water and dripstone and make more dripstone. Um, I also want to grow, grow some glow berries and also make some lava. Um, so do like a lava generator over here. That's kind of what I was thinking. And I think this is plenty of space to do it. Below me, I've got storage. Um, and this here... That's collecting. I added more storage because I realized that you can do stuff with these uh, this moss block stuff, um, which I will maybe demonstrate. Let's grab some moss block. I don't know how much I really need. And I need some bone meal, which I probably have some right here. I do. Let's grab some bone meal. Very good. So the moss block will generate bone meal, but then you can also do stuff like this. So um, let's let's go get an axe. I've started uh, developing some toolsmiths. I should go get some additional axes, enchant them up with unbreaking mending and fortune, um, and perhaps uh, silk touch. Two separate axes, of course. So, let me tear down this tree and show you what I was, uh, what I realized. Because down here, so much of what I'm doing down here is uh, down the deep slate area, and then above that, and just in stone. So, dirt is, whoops, dirt is really at a premium. And yet, I've got all these farms where I need dirt for things. So I've been digging out gravel. And the cool thing about gravel, of course, is you can combine it with dirt, with other dirt, and turn it into coarse dirt. And then, depending on what you do with that, uh, you can place it down. You can, you can grow stuff in it. You can treat, treat it like dirt. Um, but you can also... Oh, what are you glitching on? Uh, but you can also uh, till it or turn it into a, into a path block and then and then dig it 
and it turns into regular dirt. So you can, it's renewable dirt, which of course, the wiki says dirt is renewable. And I figured that was the way in which they meant. That's, um, oh, I do not have a fortune shovel. Interesting. Okay, that's fine. So this is just a little proof of concept here. Let's put these away. And I assume I'll get enough uh, saplings here to... So I'll get some pods all here. And I may need that pods all back where it was, but let's, let's find out. So when you plant and grow giant spruce trees, it generates pods all around it. And it will turn moss blocks into pods all. And at a distance. So if I take, so I've got these uh, moss blocks here. Probably didn't need four stacks of them, but but if I do this, pods all is one of the uh, moss blocks, or one of the blocks that could turn into pods all when a spruce tree grows nearby. So. Um, can I plant the saplings directly on the moss blocks? Yes. Very good. Okay. Um, Any more saplings? I'm sure there's some up in those leaves up there, but I've got plenty of saplings. So let's go plant some more and I grab some bone meal so we can just, as a test, grow. And look, it turned all that moss into podzol. And that podzol is effectively dirt. I mean, it's like a variant of dirt. So that's all very exciting. And I created a little area over here. So I've got dirt over here, correct? I need to get some, I need to, oh, I know what we can do. Dirt. So I've got coarse dirt, grass block, rooted dirt, mycelium, and now I've got pots all. Um, so these can all be kind of turned into this which means these can kind of be turned into that. Um, so anyway, that's manual process. I'm sure there's a way of automating it, but hey, um, more free dirt. And I don't have to use a gravel for it. The gravel can be useful for other things too. So um, <coughs> let's see here. Put those up there. And I'll put these moss blocks back where they belong. But... Um, so instead of you can turn the moss blocks into bone meal by composting it composts very nicely oh, look more moss block um, and um, put this back away and let it generate more so this thing is just continually creating moss block which means it takes a little bit of effort and some additional uh, steps and um, bone meal, but this thing also generates bone meal, uh, I can turn it into dirt. <laughs> so uh, so I, I, can, I can generate my own dirt now, which is awesome. So um, let's see, what do I need down here? Yeah, one of the things I was going to do was just build a roof and just plant glowberries all over the roof and then I can come and collect those in as much as I need them. I don't need a ton of glowberries. Um, they're fun. I like them, but I don't need them. Um, and I need iron. Uh, I need iron for cauldrons catch the lava so i've been using the glow squid ink to do this makes these so much easier to deal with oh brown um 
And I've been trying to choose colors for the chest that make sense for what's contained inside the chest. And where did I, the jungle trees are up here, up there. And I have my ax on me, I think, so I can harvest some more coca beans. Should make brown dye. Yeah, look at all the coca beans. Uh, they make brown dye. And so that would be appropriate for my dirt chest. Let's see what that looks like. I've been using birch signs because I think they're the lightest sort of canvas, so to speak. There we go. And that got me, I don't know, two and a half stacks of coca beans. But I will need to use a chunk of those to replant. Um, and I probably already have a bunch over my chest over there. Yeah. Cooking beans. Look at that. I'm going to put the shield in there. So I grab some of these and let those grow again. Oh, I missed one. There we go. Um, yeah, so this is... Actually, let's go grab some of the glow squid ink. And there's another glow squid there. So let's grab these and whatever he's going to give me. Oops. Hey, come back here. Give me your ink sack. Die first. Okay. There we go. I suppose I should eat. So I created my little too tall flower thing over here and I'm getting dyes out of it. So, oh, I've got way more cocoa beans than I need. Oh, and I've got lots of squid ink, glow squid ink sacks, glow ink sacks. Okay. Um, but so I can take these and do that. So I get some brown dye and then I need one of these. Let's put one of these here. Go put those back. And then I've got a bunch of spruce signs over here because I keep making them and forgetting that I have stacks of them here. And I guess when I take down the dirt one, I'll get another one back. But these are, see, these were like the most readable without using dyes and not sand. Dirt. And... Oh, you know what? I could have just colored the one that was there. That was really dumb, but that's okay. So I'm going to color it brown, which well, it's not too bad. Bloop, dirt, and it's brown. Uh, so I can go put this sign back over here. Sign. Goes there. Very good. And let's put these coca beans away. So I added another row of storage. Whoops, got turned around. Another row of storage. I don't think I actually put anything in any of these yet. No, I just added them. More lighting. I've got room for a few more. Um, and I put the valuables over here. Now I don't have enough to fill up five stacks. Double, double chest, but I wanted to clear out these. And I've still got some stuff in here that I need to find a home for. Um, but, you know, diamonds and emeralds and gold. I don't have a lot of emeralds here. I should go grab some from over... I should go grab almost all the ones that are over at the villager trading area. Put them in here. I've got some iron. Lapis, redstone, you know, just the usual stuff. 
quartz. Uh, so kind of walkable, either stuff that's valuable, like ores and whatnot, um, or stuff that you get. It has to be blocked up. And I've been repairing stuff with these bottles of enchanting because they're relatively cheap. They're very cheap. Um, and I'll go collect a bunch more at some point, but that's all I need right now. Oops, put that in the offhand and pair you up. There we go. Just took one. So anyway, there's there's that. I think that's uh I think that's the update I wanted to show you. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party, and I'll see you next time. All right? Bye.